Hey guys, Ralph here. Raw Ralph here. <laughs> I'm so glib. <laughs> Raw Ralph here after 15 days. Life's good, man. Life's good. Did you have a good weekend? Actually, this is still the weekend, isn't it? Isn't it Juneteenth? Uh, I'm not even sure what that's all about. I'll check it out. Not a big deal. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've told you many times, anybody that's following this, is I morph in and out of the raw food, cooked food lifestyle. Um, it sort of just works itself. Uh, I know a lot of it has to do with the seasons. There's no question about it. The fruit is just so delicious during the summer. I don't want to eat anything else or drink anything else. And during the winter, do I yearn for something hot? That we get into Ayurvedic stuff here. I, I don't. I don't. I researched it a while back, and I don't put a whole lot of stock into it. But um, to get some warm rice or some warm baked potatoes in your warm cooked food during the winter, up here in the Northeast, yeah, something to be said for it. And I don't sweat it one way or the other. I really and truly don't. But make no mistake about it, guys. I prefer raw. I take that back. I like the extra little liberty you get by including cooked food. I do like that. I love rice. I love baked potatoes. Uh, steamed broccoli, steamed cabbage. I don't sweat that at all. I, I can, I mean, you know, five minutes in a steamer is not ruining the broccoli. Either. But anyway, anyway. Um, I love that stuff. So, and I like those um, those options. I really do. But as far as feeling better, there is no question whatsoever. When I am straight raw, raw fruits, veggies, and their juices, guys, I just feel better. I never get tired. I just go to bed because it's time to go to bed. It's not like I'm exhausted. And even though I'm not exhausted, guys, I sleep like a baby. My, um, my dreams are so vivid and so beautiful. I don't get these weird, depressing type dreams. They're very, very uplifting, shining lights, you know, dancing through a meadow, <laughs> you know, picking dandelion. I mean, they, they, seriously, man. <laughs> I used to dream about Pamela Anderson. Now I dream about picking dandelions. <laughs> what can I say? I'm 70 years old. So I, <laughs> I just crack myself up sometimes too. Anyway. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. Raw Ralph, man. Guys, I just feel better. I feel better. And when the bulk of that raw is just juice, I feel better. Now, I happen to be on a juice cleanse. And I will take it till the end of the month, which will be about 30 days. Um, and a juice cleanse, it, you don't go forever. You need pulp and all that sort of stuff. But just watching the mucoid plaque and what that is coming on of me, I realize, guys, as much as I you know, sit here with a smile and, hey, do this, and you're going to feel great, and I'm jacked, I realize I'm still toxic, man. There is still crap in there that is revolting, and, <laughs> and it has to come out has to come out. But the point is, guys, I do feel better on raw. I don't sweat it a bit when I go off it. Corn rice piece of potato, I have no problem with that at all. I've done plenty of videos about being a ricer and how for, you know, centuries, Chinese people have just thrived on nothing, basically nothing. 99% of their diet is white rice. White rice which is supposed to, if you listen to the paleo guys, they're supposed to be 3,000 pounds and have diabetes and all this. <laughs> listen to Jason Fung, white rice, oh please. Stephen Gundry, oh, no, no, no. White rice, you're just gonna get. The fact that they're both overweight, notwithstanding. Guys, these guys, Gundry especially, is a millionaire with his books and products and stuff. Why would you go to somebody that is such a hideous, 
physical specimen and take their advice on health. I don't understand. But I digress. Anyway, Raw Ralph, that's obnoxious. I'm not going to call myself that, <laughs> that too often, trust me. But um, yeah, guys, I feel great. I feel absolutely great. And as I said, I sort of glossed over it. But even though you have the unlimited energy, now yesterday I ended up doing um, three hours. I went back out after my video, I did a three hour bike ride, about 40 miles. Yeah, about 40 miles. And did a 20 minute kettlebell session. Practiced my trumpet, got so much work done. I'm uh, watching the golf match yesterday on the couch and, you know, wrote a chapter in my book. Guys, and slept like a baby. I talk about the energy, but I mean, if you're, if you're jacked on coffee and Adderall, you are not sleeping like a baby. These are so deep. Six hours later, I, I went to bed about eight, woke up wide awake at two, laid in bed and tried to go back to sleep, and I said, this ain't working. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm ready to go. So I got up and started my day. Guys, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, my book. The cleaning lady yesterday and moved my book. Penn State. We are, baby. My money and my daughter went to Penn State. <laughs> my daughter is very, very bright. She applied to, a, well, she did. She's off to law school now. She's not at Penn State. But she, um, she applied to about eight schools. She knew she was getting into them. And she got ginormous scholarships to every single one of them. Penn State didn't give her a nickel. You know where she wanted to go? <laughs> Penn State. Guys, and, I, you know, I, I don't begrudge it a bit. She worked her head off to be, you know, 4.7 GPA, the whole nine yards. And this is where she wanted to go. I'm going to give it to her if I could. But I'm literally bribing her with a car to take the scholarship to go to the other school. <laughs> and my last, my, last, um, my last bid, and I was doing it tongue-in-cheek. I'm very, very happy for it, proud of her. But I said, okay, here's the deal, Trees. Last thing, you take the scholarship I'll buy you a Beamer, BMW, maxed out. Guys, I wrote a check for $200,000 for Penn State, okay? If she took the scholarship and the Beamer, I would have been off the hook for about $50,000. i am way ahead of the game, but I digress. <laughs> um, anyway, True Power Juice Cleanse. 10 bucks, a, 10 bucks a book. I'll try to get my tuition back. But anyway, guys, try raw. Try the cleanse right. 10 days do a cleanse. You're not going to believe how you feel. And even if you can't do it more than a week because of logistics, work, or whatever, you're going to see the possibilities of how great you feel on the cleanse. And then maybe down the road when you might have a month free to yourself, you might want to do it then because you feel extraordinary. You really do. Anyway, eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.